everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Well, it hasn't been very long since I posted an ASOS haul. It was only maybe like a week and a bit ago. When I posted that haul, someone left a comment and they said, Oh my god, Alex, I can't believe you didn't buy the pink tracksuit. And I was like, pink tracksuit? That there was there was no pink tracksuit when I bought this stuff. So I went back on the website, typed in Hello Kitty pink tracksuit, and sure enough, up it popped. And I noticed there was about five new items that weren't there the first time. Of course, I had to get them. I also picked up a couple of other things too because I just couldn't resist. They looked way too cute. So what I'm gonna try and do is race through all this stuff, try and make this a nice quick video for you guys. I have a full face of Jaclyn Hill's vault collection on right now. I just finished filming that video. So keep an eye out, it should already be up on my channel by the time that you're watching this. So without further ado, uh, this is Archie. He is my feathered... <coughs> he is my feathered son. Yes, he's a bird. Yes, he makes noises. Some people get annoyed by those noises. So if you don't like annoying birds in videos, go watch someone else's haul video. There's a lot of others that don't have birds in them. So with that, let's get into it. So the first thing that I got, now this is a pair of jeans, and these perfectly match the denim jacket. So if you saw my last Hello Kitty ASOS video, you might remember that there was a really, really cool pastel denim jacket, and these jeans match the jacket perfectly. Now I sized up in these because the last Hello Kitty jeans that I got was so small that I could hardly get my ankle through the legs. They're absolutely, oh, they're so cute. There's a little Hello Kitty sticking out from above the pocket back here. And then it also says Hello Kitty in pink embroidery there. Oh, I think the pockets on the back are amazing. Now I am hoping that these fit nicely around the thighs because I found that the size six jeans in the last video fitted my thighs really well, but they just didn't fit around the ankles. So I'm a little bit concerned but fingers crossed. All right, well, it's exactly like I had feared. They're not fitting me well around here and they're very, very baggy around here, but they did fit the ankles fine. So that's a little bit of a concern for me. I think I will have to return these. They are super cute. I mean, I can't deny that. They are some of the cutest jeans ever. If you take a look in the mirror there, you should be able to hopefully see the full length, I hope. I just don't know. Uh, they're so cute. They're so cute, but they're not fitting right. And I know from those other jeans, they in my size didn't work out. These in a size up didn't work out. I don't think they even had these left in a size six for me to try. Otherwise I would have probably got both and tried them. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, they, they are mighty cute. Like look how cute they are. Can you see? They're so, mm. what do you think? What should I do? Should I keep them? Should I return them? I don't know. It's a tough life, isn't it? Trying to decide what Hello Kitty items you're gonna keep. Maybe I should keep them. Maybe I could just work with them. Maybe I could have them tailored. Everything about them is amazing. The fit is the only thing. So maybe I should have them tailored. I don't know if it'd be worth the extra money. I mean, these are $96 jeans. So if I had to have them tailored, I've never had anything tailored, but Let's say hypothetically it was going to be $50 to have them tailored or something. I mean, I guess they'd still only be like $150, which for jeans is a lot. But then for limited edition jeans, maybe that's okay. I don't know. I'm just not sure. I do like the look of them. I think they're super cute. I just, I love these. The color block design is so cool. The fit is just off. So let me know what you think. This next item is very, very similar to the pants that you just saw, except these are shorts. They're the same colors. On the back is exactly the same as well with the Hello Kitty peeking over the top and the embroidery. I'm pretty sold on the length of them. I think they should be quite nice. I don't like booty shorts. I don't have a booty to show off. So I like the fact that these are booty shorts. So they look like they'll be really cute. And it is starting to warm up here in Australia. The temperature here is a, uh, gonna be quite different than it is for a lot of you guys watching, but it's, it's warming up for me, so I should get some use out of these. Okay, well these shorts are $70 shorts. They are my size, they're a size six. I think $70 for shorts is outrageous. Like, whew, outrageous. <laughs> But hey, look how cute they are. They're quite long. Can you see the bottom of them? They're, they're very, 
long shorts, like I said, not booty shorts. You can probably see in that mirror there, the length of them. They're very, very nice. Like, I like these so much more than the jeans. They fit so much better. So these are the size six, the jeans are the size eight. These fit fine around the waist, obviously, because they're a six, and then you don't have that issue with the legs because there are no legs. I think I'll hang on to these, especially because it's going into summer here. I can't see any reason other than the fact that they're $70. I can't think of any other reason to send them back because they're super cute. Now, for anyone wondering, I didn't keep the matching denim jacket because I just couldn't justify the price and I didn't really like the style. I was kind of considering going back for it after I got so many comments on that last video. People were like, keep it, keep it, roll the sleeves up, it'll look really nice, just keep it. So I was like, oh yeah, maybe I'll buy it, but it was sold out anyway, so it wasn't meant to be. But I do think these shorts are meant to be. I do really, really like them. But 70 bucks, ugh! All right, now here's the tracksuit. Now, unfortunately, by the time that I realized there was a pink tracksuit for sale, they were already sold out of my size. So this is an Australian size 10, but I just wanted to get it to show you guys because I'm sure that a lot of you are really interested in this. So I wanted to be able to review the quality. A lot of the time with tracksuits and loungewear, it doesn't really matter if it's not so fitted. So I might end up keeping it, but if it is way too big for me, I will have to return it. In Australia, ASOS has a really good return system. You can just ship it back for free. They cover the cost of the postage and you get the return, the refund instantly. So there's good peace of mind, at least for Australians. So I'll see, oh, I don't think they're gonna fit me. That's what they look like from the front. And then that's them from the back. They've got this cute little Hello Kitty on the pocket and Archie is destroying my top. All right, we'll have a look at the top. Even though it's not my size, it doesn't matter because this is just a hoodie. So I think this will be totally fine. I'll keep this for sure. I'll put the pants on and I'll just have to tuck them in to show you guys. So don't think about the fit, just think about the style. I think at the time when I bought them, they had a size 10, 12, 14, and 16. Hopefully those sizes will still be available, but I know that the uh, four, six, and eight, or whatever it was, were sold out. These feel beautiful, really, really thick, very comfy. It's made really well. The bows are exactly the same as the bows on my other tracksuit. I have a yellow one, which I wore all over Japan. It feels exactly like that, but this is a bit warmer than that one. All right, well, this outfit has me conflicted because the top is $76 and the pants are 70. Now, the pants, they are a size 10, but they do have a drawstring on the inside. So I was able to pull them so that they're kind of sitting loosely on my hip. And if these are never going to come back in stock in my size, I think I will hang on to them because I don't know if I will ever see these again. I don't know if anyone will sell them, you know, on Depop or something, like I just don't know. So I think I will keep them. I'll tell you what, these are so comfortable. This is different to my favorite yellow one. It's funny because when they released that yellow one earlier in the year, I loved it so much and I was like, I wish it was in pink. And then they made it in pink and they made it even better. Like it is very, very, very soft. So like I said, this is a 10 and this is a 10 and it's about $146 all up for both pieces. But I think for a limited edition Hello Kitty collection, I mean, I can't say it's worth it, but I can say that I can justify it because I'm never gonna see anything like this again. And I think he likes it too, huh? You got banana all over your beak. Go take your messy beak away from the expensive clothes. Here's what it looks like zipped up. Now, like I said earlier, you just, oh my God, wait, there's no pockets. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Now I, I'm just, I'm questioning everything. I am questioning everything <laughs> because there's no pockets on the top, but there's pockets in the pants, so I guess that's okay. So there's the really, really cute bows all the way along the pants like that. The shade of pink is really nice. I do look a little bit ridiculous just because it's not the right fit for me, but I can imagine if this was the right size, it would be a lot more flattering than what it is. But uh, yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments below if you think I should keep this or return it. I just, I don't know. I mean, unless I can find this in a smaller size, maybe someone's selling it on eBay, but then when they sell these sort of things on eBay, they always sell it for so much more than what it actually costs. Like, I have seen Hello Kitty items on eBay for double and triple the price that they were being sold on ASOS for. So there's no way in hell, I mean, I think 140 is expensive. So there's no way that I would buy this off someone else for a markup. It's just not worth it. I don't know, do you think I should hang on? Okay. Fine. I actually picked up that skirt again. Do you guys remember in the first 
or actually my second ASOS haul, which is the most recent one that I posted before this one, I bought a two-piece Hello Kitty set, and the skirt, I didn't think that the skirt was fitting very well, it kind of bulged where the zipper was, and I wasn't very happy about that, so I returned it, and then like a week went by, and when I went to buy the pink tracksuit, I saw this, and I saw that it was in stock, and I was like, do I really want to say goodbye to that forever, just because I didn't like the zip? No. <laughs> so I bought it again. But this is one size up, so I'm just curious to see if sizing up helps with that funny zipper problem. Okay, well here's this skirt again. This is the size 8, and I'm really glad that I sized it up, because it's not doing that thing with the zip. Like, I mean, it's, it's a tiny little bit of a bulge, but the last one that I tried, it was ridiculous just how much of a bulge there was going on there. So this is fine. So if you're considering getting size up, then you'll be fine. So I am glad that I went back for this because now I can wear this with that matching top with no problems at all. I'm really, really happy. It's $64 though, so that's, that's a hell of a lot for a little tiny skirt. Like I said, it's a limited edition set and I think if I'm going to keep this and I, I already kept the top from last time, yeah, maybe that kind of justifies the fact that I shouldn't keep the jogger set. I should send the jogger set back. Yeah. Alright, now that's all the Hello Kitty stuff. Now I'm going to show you, this is a bit crazy, but all of these things are stripey. Please forgive me, I, I didn't realise until it all arrived and I was like, whoa, that's a lot of stripes. Anyway, so I bought this dress because I wanted to wear it to our engagement party, but it was too small for me. They only had it in a size 4, they didn't have my size. And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll try it, I'll try the size 4, but it was too tight and I couldn't breathe. It does still go on my body, it does still fit, but it was just so tight I thought I was going to die. But I'll show you what it looks like because this is a gorgeous dress. It's made of this almost like scuba kind of material. It's really unusual, but the colours are stunning and the style is really, really nice too. Okay, well here's this stunning dress. This is a $54 dress, which is absolutely worth it. It is made of such incredible material. The style is really nice, but like I said, this is a size 4 and I'm a size 6 and I just, I mean, I could do it up at the back, but I'm going to return it and I don't want to like stretch it or anything for the next person. As you can probably see in the mirror, it's just, it wouldn't comfortably zip up, like I wouldn't be able to breathe. So I will have to send this back and I'm devastated because it is so beautiful. Hopefully you can see in the reflection there, it's really really long at the back, like it goes down almost to my ankles, but at the front it stops just kind of like halfway up my calves. So this is a stunning design and for $54 it is without a doubt worth it, I adore it. If this was in a size 6, I mean I'm going to have to go back onto the website and see because if they have restocked this in my size, I'm going to return this and get the one in my size without a doubt because it's just, it's so beautiful, I can't believe it. So anyway, I couldn't wear this to the engagement party, I wanted to. Ah, this is what I did end up wearing to the engagement party, still pastel, <laughs> but I just, I feel like this would have been so nice. So if you have an event to go to and the weather isn't too cold, I think that anyone that likes pastel colours would absolutely adore this. It is so, so beautiful. Next up, now these tops are exactly the same. I got two different sizes because I wanted to see what it would look like if it was oversized, but I also wanted to see what my size would look like. Okay, so here it is. This is from Lazy Oaf. This is so soft. I can't believe how soft it is. It's very, very light. It's not going to give you any warmth at all because it's knitted, but it's not a thick kind of knit. So this is purely, purely for looks. Now, which one is this? I got two sizes. This is the small, but I also got a large because I thought it might look nice as an oversized top on me. But this is the small, so it looks like it's quite cropped, a little bit like the top that I'm wearing right now. But these colours are just to die for. It is so cute. Okay, well, here's this Lazy Oaf top. This is the small. It is beautiful. You can't deny it's beautiful. Like I said, it's very, very sheer. It's not meant for warmth, it's just, you know, style. But this is $130. Ugh, no! No! No. Oh, I'm so... I don't know! Ugh. I said no, but then the thought of returning it makes me sad because it's so cute and so pretty. But $130, that is ridiculous. I might have to, like... No almonds for a week, Archie, to make make all that money back so I can keep this, huh? No, no, I'd never do that to you. Never. So, yeah, I... I don't know. Like, it's really cute. Can't lie, it's super cute. That is 
in no way whatsoever worth $130. So, um, yeah. All right, well, here's the large. I had hoped that the large would be a little bit longer than this. There's not a huge difference between the small and the large. It's mostly the sleeves, actually. The sleeves are significantly bigger on the large than they are on the small. Like, look how long they are. They were not that long on the other one. But, yeah, I feel like... If I'm going to keep one, I think I'll keep the small, but let me know what you think. Going for the large, I had hoped to have like one of those really slouchy, nice, kind of, you know, coming down a bit longer, but they didn't really change the length of the torso, they just kind of changed the length of the sleeves. So that kind of defeated the purpose of the larger one. But uh, anyway, let me know what you think. Do you think I should keep this for $130? Okay, yeah, I'm leaning toward agreeing with you. Okay, this next top, I just thought that this, this looked insane. It's not pastel, but it's got this huge turtleneck like this, which you double over. So I love these big exaggerated necks like that. And then it's, hey, don't chew. Okay, can't return that now. I won't return anything that Archie has chewed on. I just, I won't do it. I won't send something back that a bird has chewed on. So thanks Archie, you've decided for me. I'm keeping this one, am I? Great. Well, Good thing I like it a lot anyway. It is so soft, it's really, really beautiful. Look at that. I feel like this will be, you know, it's just coming out of winter now. So I'm a little bit worried because I'm not gonna get much use out of it. But anyone that's going into winter soon will probably get some use out of this. This is so soft. I'm really excited to see what this looks like on. Okay, this is only $32. I actually think that's kind of reasonable because I really like the design. I love this huge neck. I think it's so cool. It's kind of warm, like I, I am feeling a little bit hot in here, so that is good. I don't know how it'll hold up, you know, in the wind or something like that, but I do really like the look of it. Not pastel, but, you know, I feel like, even though I love pastels, just anything with rainbow stripes, yes, yes, you can chew on this one, that's fine, if you must, because I'm going to keep this one. $32 is not bad at all. Look, this, this neckline is so huge, I can basically, like, hide Archie in it. So, yeah. I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, I'm gonna hang on to it because Archie's chewed on it and also it's only $32, so I'll keep it. But do you like this? I feel like this would look really nice with just like a pair of mum jeans and some sneakers, you know, really like casual, laid back kind of look. Let me know what you think, but oh yeah, I think it's fine. $32, that's relatively cheap for something that feels this nice. Now this next one, this is actually from Misguided. So they seem to sell Misguided and Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing on ASOS. Which is good because a lot of those websites are really, really terrible with their returns. If you saw my boohoo fiasco, you'll know what I'm talking about. So here it is. This is really warm. This is so soft. How cute are those colours? I love it. It's this cute little cropped top. It's got some green on it, so Archie will like that. This, honestly, this feels so nice. Although, I'll see how it feels on my skin. Like, it's one thing to feel it like this and know that it feels nice but it could be itchy on my skin, so we'll see. Guys, I'll tell you what, if I had my own clothing line, I would want to sell something like this. This is so cool. This is so soft, it's literally giving my body chills. Like, it's it's really strange, but I'm, I literally kind of like have chills because of how nice this is against my skin. It's really satisfying and pleasing to wear. I like the length of it too. Like, you know, I have this thing on underneath, so it's kind of ruining it for you. Okay, so you can kind of see the length of it. Actually, I don't mind it with the tank top down. I still think that looks really cool, but oh, oh, it's so amazing. I uh, uh, uh. This is only $36. If this is still available on the site, jump on and grab it. Like seriously, if you love pastels and you want something warm and soft and cozy and adorable, you cannot look past this. I This is like one of my favorite items out of any haul that I have ever done. I just, am I nuts? Like, am I crazy? I just think this is so good. I definitely recommend it to you guys. Hopefully it's still there and for 36 Australian dollars, which is maybe like 27 US dollars or something like that, I think it's worth it without a doubt. I love this. Look, look, just see it from all angles. Oh, so cute, <laughs> I love it. This next top is another rainbow stripey top. I uh, went a little bit nuts on the stripes this time. Now this is by Monkey. This kind of reminds me a little bit of, I think it's a Lazy Oaf cardigan that I've seen before. But it's just a beautiful rainbow cardigan. It's really cool. Kind of reminds me a bit of some of the things that I picked up from the Boohoo Pride collection. This again feels soft. This is way warmer than what that Lazy Oaf one was, but it's not as warm as the misguided one. Okay, well this is the first top I've ever got from Monkey. I've never bought anything from this brand but people tell me about it all the time. 
I really like this. So I'm going to hang on to it. Archie can chew the buggery out of it if he needs to because I'm going to keep this for sure. This is $50. I think $50 for this is... I think it's a bit much, but I'm pretty sure that the brand Monkey is meant to be like a higher end kind of brand. So... Yeah, I don't know, but I think I will keep this for sure. I really like how it tucks in at the wrists here. Like, doesn't that look nice? It looks really... Like, it just gives it a little bit of a different kind of style to what a lot of other tops have. Like, it, these nice big balloon sleeves and then tucking in. I think it's really cool. Sorry, mate. I'm sorry. I like the length of it, too. I, I feel like it's very, very soft. I don't know how it'll go for warmth because I feel like air could... I feel like air could just kind of like blow in through these holes, so you'd probably have to wear something underneath it. But having a high neck like this, you can really wear whatever you want underneath it and you're not going to see straps or anything like that. So I will... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will hang on to this one, but I do think that $50 is a little bit much for it. Maybe if it went on sale. If this was like 40 I would be like, hell yeah. 50 is just that little bit too much, but I do think it's really cool. I love how loud it is. My friend Tiasha, if you're watching, Man, if it was your birthday coming up soon, I would buy you one of these. I will probably buy you one anyway because this is so you. I have a friend that adores this kind of, you know, like she loves monkey and she likes this rainbow kind of design too. So I reckon there'll be a lot of people out there that will be furiously typing in the comments right now like, Oh my god, I love it. It's so pretty. So yeah, this one gets a pass from me and I do think that I'll keep it. Can, can you please, can you get... Okay, fine. You know what? I'm keeping this one so I don't care if you chew on it. You know what, Archie? This is your problem. You brought this on yourself, Archie. You brought this on yourself. Just, you just go away. And the last thing that I picked up, can you let go? Hey, you, why? He's obsessed with chewing on zippers for some weird reason. I don't know why. Okay, so this last piece, it's literally just a white turtleneck and I just wanted a nice white turtleneck. I just feel like it's a real staple for the wardrobe. So as long as this fits, I'm definitely keeping this one. It's slightly cropped. It looks really, really good. I'm excited about that. I just feel like these are so nice to wear tucked into skirts or to wear in a, under a pinafore, that sort of thing. Feels really nice quality, so yeah. This, this looks promising. All right, well, this is exactly what I expected it to be. I actually didn't realize, but this is, again, by Misguided. Now, I have a white tank on underneath this, so you can't really tell the length, but it stops about here. It feels really comfortable. I really like the look of it. I like the length of the turtleneck. You can adjust it however you like. This is $36, though, and I kind of feel like $36 for a cropped thing from Misguided is a bit much, but I am going to hang on to it because I really, it's exactly what I had been looking for, like to the T. It's absolutely perfect as far as what I needed. So I will hang on to it, but I do think the $36 is a bit much. I do love the style and I like the kind of ribbing as well and the sleeves are really, really long. I have quite long arms and I find that sleeves come, come a little bit too short on me, but these are great. I do really like this and I think that this will look really, really nice underneath a lot of different things. You know, underneath like a strappy dress and with a, a skirt, like lots of different versatile looks with a crop top like this. So I'm going to hang on to this one for sure. And the very, very last item of the day is completely random and is not clothing, but it is a uh, unicorn coasters. Look at this. This is so cute. I'll give you a close up. So there was four of these in the set and they are made really, really well. They feel kind of heavy, so they feel very solid. The design is just adorable. It's got gold paint. The unicorn is really cute. I like the little stars as well. And then it's got some little pads on the base of it so that they're not slippery. And these are made by a brand that seems to be called Sass and Bell maybe, but I just, I couldn't resist. They were just way too cute. So that's it guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what your favorite items were. I liked almost everything in this video. You know, picking them up, looking at them, they looked so cute. A lot of the designs are really, really nice. But once again, it's very expensive. I, I continuously have this problem where I love things on ASOS, but I just don't think that they're worth the money. I can justify it because 
I make these videos, I make ad revenue, I don't make affiliate money and I'm not sponsored by them, but obviously just by having ads on the video, I can make money off the video. So I can justify spending a bit more money on clothes like this, but I think for an everyday consumer, if you're just looking to buy nice clothes for yourself, you can get cheaper things that are similar quality at other stores. I mean, it is a hell of a lot better than anything at Boohoo or any of those kind of really cheap places, but we have a store here in Australia called Valley Girl. I love Valley Girl and a lot of this stuff just feels like anything you buy from Valley Girl and it's really, really reasonably priced. So my issue with ASOS, it's expensive, the clothes are nice clothes, but they're not incredible quality for the price. But hey, if you liked any of these things and you thought, I've been looking for that forever and that is perfect, then by all means go for it. But yeah, with that, let me know what your favorite pieces were below. Let me know what you think I should keep and what I should return. I am thinking of returning, well, I'm definitely returning the dress. Probably have to return those pants that were too big. I don't think I'll need to keep all of those rainbow sweaters. I'll just choose like the nicest ones and keep those and send the rest back. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think and I will see you guys next time. Mwah!